always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an R bar, and as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all... Ready. Underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Just misses with a left hook there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Strong leg kick there by Dunham. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this. Oh, that was a big takedown. This is the one that's going to break him. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big punch man for the middle. Well placed with the kick. Leg kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so. Certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Way to hide that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. <laughs> Take 
and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. Oh, and now he's hooked. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Nice kick landed there by Short. 20 seconds left. Nice punch lands. Big head kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Dunn. Punch there by Chor. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Try to establish that jab. Dunham's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. But next with a right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just out of range with that strike. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. That was a nice strike. Blocks the shot. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Back and forth we go here! All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Two rounds in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready, fight. Ready. Let's do it. Oh, there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Liver kick. Nice. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, that right hand is on point. And he continues to work the body here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful strike. He's done a slower job. Very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Misses with that punch. Beautiful level change leads to the take. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Dunham's back in half guard, very comfortable here. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Checks the leg kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful punch. Oh, big head kick land. And he landed the right hand there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well placed kick there by Shore. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice leg kick land. Such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind him. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Just missed with the left there. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Lunges forward with a left there. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Really timing his shots nicely, good. Oh! Oh! being applied here as he works out of side control and really starting to make these shots count. Now look at him jumping in. What a fight so win. far. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. What a punch. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Close guard. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Straight punch lands.
right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Good punch. Back and forth we go! Powerful leg kick lands. He blocks the punch. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, man, look at that. Big Got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, side control now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice kick. And they separate. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said. Oh, oh that's there, DC. He massive, massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping his guard high, blocking his head, making sure. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, right in the mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Hey, stop. Take a deep breath and relax. Watch him look the finish this way. You put the pressure on this guy. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Real quick leg kick. Good punch land. Back to the left hand now. Now lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Just out of range with the big right hand. Visibly limping here. Good as that jab by Dunn. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh, what a oh! Oh, he 
might be out. Dunham goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the oh. hand speed. Right? He just started looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Nice punch by Chor. And they separate. And yet again, finding the right distance and range and landing another punch. He's got a decided reach advantage in this one. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Big leg kick land. Just misses there with the left. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get them. You got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed from the top. It does not matter if you get the guard in. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Switch the leg, Johnny. Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going. Take a point. Take a point like they did to your boy, John. Oh, he's out. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here. Tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. So there he is, the 